There is a new movie coming out. It's a straight to DVD movie. And uh, the title of it is Christmas with a capital, uh, capital C. That makes sense. Uh, <laughs> And this, I like how you hesitated. <laughs> what else could it be? With for it? some reason, I wrote Captain C here. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm like, That's, That's Captain right. Crunch. Christmas with Captain Crunch. <laughs> anyway, it's delicious. It's Christmas with a capital C, <laughs> and uh, it has a very unconventional um, antagonist. It, yeah, this is absurd. <laughs> it's it's a big city guy who's an atheist and wants to destroy Christmas. It's got a Baldwin in it. Everybody's having fun. In Trapper Falls, Alaska, Christmas is the biggest celebration of the year. This is the only time of year the entire world has this like shared experience of peace and, and hope for the future. Merry Christmas! But that's all about to change. Mitch Bright stopped by town today. High school Mitch Bright? You had a high school rival, so what did you guys compete over? Football, basketball, mom. I won that one. Why would he come back here after? So many years. What's he after? A formal complaint has been filed about the town Christmas decoration. Who filed this complaint? The Grinch? Mitch Bright. Now to save Christmas. Joe, what are you doing? Season's greetings? It works for everybody. It doesn't work for me. He hates God. He doesn't want equal representation of religion. He wants none. You really care about city hall decorations? So I do have a problem with Christmas. And all the rest of the garbage you Christians have been jamming down my throat. Dan must save his job. You want to run for mayor of this town, try to change it? You go ahead and try it. Get the help of his friends. Mitch Bright has a personal vendetta against me. You can't have a religious display on the site. Honey, please come hey, down. Back off! We are not going to cave in. We defend the reason for the season. <laughs> it's not going anywhere. You heard what the judge said, Dan. That doesn't mean that you can ruin Christmas for everybody else here. I'm not going to let you hold this town hostage. Ted McGinley. Just because God's out of vogue in the big city doesn't mean we throw him away like last summer's fashion magazine. Brad Stein. Christians happen to have started the United States of America. Christmas starts with a capital C. Christ the Lord is the center of Christmas. Christmas with a capital C. Did you know Jesus started the United States of America? Yeah, he was one of the founding fathers. All right, yeah, well, I'm going to leave that by. Look, this is going to be this, this is going to be awesome. I'm thinking of seeing this movie because this promises to be one of the worst movies ever made. That that villain. I mean, do you see what they did to him? They made his face lighter and his uh, eyes darker. Okay, with makeup, and he's like, oh, "I am against God. I hate God." And there's that little girl, the little angel girl. He's like, "Come down here." And then the guy steps up and defends. I know. Oh, come on. I know. <laughs> Oh, that was comical. I get I get all of the bald ones mixed up, first of all. So when I first heard this about this, I was like, oh, well, it's the one from 30 Rock. Was, they're all the same as far as I'm concerned. Because he's the comedic one, right? And it's going to be a funny movie. It's going to be a spoof type of thing. I didn't even think the movie was going to be, I thought it was going to be a, a spoof trailer. Mm -hmm. Who is this kid? No, 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 no. This is this is a real movie. That's People are debating whether it's true. It's a real movie. Okay, no, and Alec Baldwin is a liberal one. He'd never be in this movie. Okay? That's why I thought it was going to be like a, no. a joke. No, no, the, the Stephen Baldwin is the Christian. I thought it was going to be him. It's not even him. That's a twist in the story. It's Daniel Baldwin. He's the big city guy, the big city atheist who comes in and tries to destroy Christmas. <laughs> like, is it, they, I guess in their mind, mm -hmm. they think people are like that. Like, that there's people in the big cities who are like, let's try to crush people's dreams. <laughs> like, m let's make sure that there are no presents on Christmas. Okay. <laughs> That's their view, their world view. And so I guess if you want to see that comical world view, there it is. Disaster. <laughs>